During high school, I played junior hockey and still hold two league records. Most time spent in a penalty box, and I was the only guy to ever take off his skate and try to stab somebody. Hey, what is going on, guys? Clickwood here back again, bringing you guys another NHL 16 video and today guys what I'm gonna be talking about is some fun stuff that you can do in this game Right here you guys you are seeing some highlights from me fighting here in NHL 16 Which is something everybody loves to do. Let's be completely honest here uh, This is my created character Charlie Conway kind of a little uh, throwback to the mighty duck days and guys uh, What I'm gonna be showing you how to do today is get unlimited fights here in NHL 16 So here's an example Basically, what we're trying to do is, uh, again, get the other team to get pissed off enough to fight us. And here it is. Here's your opportunity. Here's the brawl. And, uh, yeah, this is a lot of fun, guys. Win, lose, or draw. My character's not very good at fighting yet. But this is something that you can do at any time in any game, on any game mode, on any difficulty, frankly. And what's great about this is that it's really, really simple. It's something anybody can do. And it really doesn't take any skill. The defense doesn't even really try to stop you from doing it. But they do get mad as hell when you do do it. So as you saw there, I did draw the opposing team into doing a fight with me. Now, I'm going to show you another example here of how it's done. So we're driving down with the puck here. This is in a standard game, the Wild versus the Avalanche. And what I'm doing is I'm taking the puck past the blue line. And then I'm pulling it back in across the blue line, getting an offsides penalty. And then once I'm, I've been determined to be offsides, then I'm taking a shot at the goalie. And that pisses the other team off every single time. Even on whether you play on the EA SHL game mode, whether you play on your career, whether you play in a, in a franchise or whatever you decide that you want to do, this is the easiest way to get into fights in this game. At least the easiest way that I've come across. And it's pretty much unlimited for the most part. You could continue to do it over and over and over again. And they will continue to try and fight you. Now after a while I will say that uh, the opposing team will stop actually getting into a fight with you. If they have too many people in the penalty box. And they'll just try and like push you. Even if you're pressing the triangle button to initiate the fight. But I mean, for the most part, it's pretty much unlimited. You can get into a ton of fights, and uh, that's why I actually included that little clip at the beginning, the sound clip from the movie Happy Gilmore, because it reminded me of Happy Gilmore and that opening scene where he's talking about how he has the most penalty minutes in the history of his junior hockey league. So uh, I don't know, it just cracked me up, and it made me think of that immediately when I was just getting in tons of fights like this. So you're just going to see example after example here, guys, of me getting into fights over and over again. Kind of the same process. So if you're down in a game, for example, and you want to get some sort of momentum for your team or something, this is a good way to do it, actually. Because first of all, if you get into a fight with your character, yeah, you're going to get some lower points because you got a penalty. But you can actually go in and you can increase your fighting attribute and make your player upgrade faster. It's kind of an interesting thing. It's a stupid way of doing it, but hey, I will say that it actually works. So here it is again, guys. Another example with the Wild here against the Avalanche. And we're just going to lay the smack down on this jabroni, hopefully. Yeah, look at this. The overhand right, son. Eat it. <laughs> it's so much fun to fight in hockey games. Like... There is no other sport that allows you just to brawl like this that I'm aware of anyway. Uh, baseball, they kind of like, I don't know, they suspend people for getting into fights. It happens from time to time, but it's pretty darn rare. In hockey, it's like, it can happen like one out of every couple of games where there's just a, an all-out brawl between at least one or two guys, if not like three or four guys at a time going at it. So that's a lot of fun, and obviously... With the NHL games, a lot of people, you're not very good at the NHL games, and hey, you just want to try out fighting, this is the way to do it, man. This is definitely the way to do it. Just go off sides again, and then carry in the puck, and shoot it right at the goalie. They're going to get really mad at you, and then you can press triangle if you want to fight them. Sometimes you don't even get the opportunity to press triangle. They're just like, guess what, dude? You're fighting, period. That's the end of the story. We're fighting, and we're throwing down right now. And, uh, you know, again, you're going to get the opportunity to learn how to do fighting when you do this if you're just testing it out in exhibition mode. And uh, it gives you that opportunity to kind of learn how to do it. And as you see there, I did lose that fight. Jerome McGinley laying the smack down on me. I didn't even know that he was in or on the avalanche now. I, I could have swore he was still on um, Calgary. 
I think that was what he was on previous to Colorado. But anyway, uh, yeah, I'm getting more into this NHL game. I hope you guys enjoy the videos. If you do, of course, do me a favor, hit the like button, and of course, subscribe to this channel if you're new. And guys, if you have any other tips or anything that you want to show or you want me to show, let me know in the comment section below. I'd be glad to try it out and see if it works. This is just one that I thought people would have a lot of fun with. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Again, do me a favor, hit the like button, subscribe if you're new. And I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye-bye. Dan, there's always shenanigans when these two teams get together. These teams do not like each other. Oh, that was a grueling scrap. They're going to get a chance to rest for five minutes.